I realized going from my videos that somehow I had never done one of the AMC Harbison 14, which is, in fact, the main AMC that I go to uh, on a regular basis. Um, not as much since I switched to Regal Unlimited, but uh, it is a former car mic. Uh, has 14 screens. It was originally 10 and expanded to 14. Um, and uh, unlike many of the car mics, it got a remodel uh, with recliners and a completely new uh, lobby. Um, uh, it has a uh, one PLF, which is a uh, prime cinema. Um, and that is pretty much all the significant things. Uh, it has the old box at the front. It is never manned anymore. It does have screens above it where you can see the showtime. So, um, poster areas on each end. Uh, one thing that I kind of think is interesting about this lobby is it does have this little seating area. Um, table, a couple chairs. You got um, TV that is always tuned to Food Network. Um, they do have the MacGuffins bar, uh, which I believe is staffed by a bartender on weekends, so if you want something during the week, you can get a manager, um, or somebody to serve it. Um, that was the secondary concession in the past. Uh, primary concession is over here. Um, if you look, they do have pretty... There's several things sold out currently, but it's, it's got the, most of the AMC um, fare that they normally have uh, when there's not supply chain issues. Uh, there's a couple of spots where they sometimes have small standees, but there's not really a lot of room for standees in here. The lobby is pretty small. Uh, they have the AMC priority lane, uh, Coke freestyle area for condiments, and uh, then they always take your ticket here at the back right before the hallway tees off to um, both sides. Um, the one that I'm seeing today is on the short side beyond the... Ooh, I'm zoomed in too close. The Prime Cinema is there. Uh, secondary side hallway for exiting. Um, but if we bring it back here a little bit... You can see we have each auditorium. They had these uh, TVs on the outside that used to tell the show times. Uh, apparently the contract expired on those and um, whoever provided the actual software or whatever. And so they've been off for months. I think there's one other person in my showing. It's a, one of the small auditoriums of Occupation 57. Um, this was an interesting one where the, is this kind of random um, seat that's kind of separated from the rest of the accessibility. The screen in here and all of the theaters is um, a script screen. Um, no masking in it and the recliners are um, heated ones. Uh, except for in the Prime Auditorium and in the Love Seat style where the center can um, lift between each set. Uh, they're pretty nice. Good and comfortable. So, uh, coming back out, there is, um, if you look way down the hallway on the other side, um, is the one that extends and has the, uh, um, I guess, more screens, you know, more than the, the four or five that are on the side. Um, not too much else to say about it. It's pretty standard. 